Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how exactly you can really boost up your phone and the overall performance right in your settings without really installing or doing anything extra. You just need these simple settings. So before starting watching this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications. Let's go. So now actually we need to go into our settings and you can just use your search bar or go into uh, biometrics and security and then go into your Google Play protection. So basically these settings, absolutely every Android phone have the same settings, but its location might be a little bit different. So you can just simply search on your search bar. So for example, I can show you protection. And after the search, you will see the results. And as you can see, we just need to then choose Google Play Protect and go to Google Play. So now we just need to go into settings. And as you can see, we have here the setting, which is called Improve Harmful App Detection. Send unknown application to Google for better detection. So I really suggest you to turn on the setting as all the other similar to this one because this setting is really drains your battery and slows down your phone how is this doing this you can ask me so basically again if you for example have a lot of applications on your phone and you can imagine that after every update your play store security will i would say consider all of your applications as new and they will constantly just send your all of your applications again and again uh, for checking if this uh, upgrade is safe or maybe not. So this ba basically just takes your time. So I really suggest you to turn on the setting. So next setting is going to be in our, uh, I would say, developers option so this is basically like vip settings so we really suggest you doing them too so now we just need to go into our about phone section and software information if you have uh for example some phones like xiaomi or maybe some other phones that they have their own software versions and names so like miui for example so if you have that you just need to press several times on your version of MIUI or any other, uh, I would say, software, but whether I have, since I have Samsung, we don't have any kind of uh, named software ver version, so I just need to press several times at my build number until you will see that I am a developer now. So now I just need to go into developer options. If you can find your developer options, just again, search through your search bar and you will find them for sure. So now I'm gonna go into my developers options, developer options, and here I'm gonna show you the exact settings that are gonna help you to do this. So this is gonna be in the section which is called, uh, as you can see, debugging. We're gonna go right into these settings and you will need the first the very first setting is called enable gpu debug layers so what does that mean so you should turn on this setting this setting is really helpful i use it a lot so basically when you need to make your phone very productive for i would say a pretty specific set of time or maybe uh, for several times you need this uh, this setting is really will I would say increase consuming your battery, but instead this setting will give your phone a really great boost, which is uh, which may which will make working with your phone much much easier, faster, and enjoyable. But after you, uh, I would say, finished working with whatever you you worked with, I really suggest you to come back and just easily turn the setting off to reduce your consumption of your battery so next setting which is which is called system tracing so this setting is also really amazing if you have these first settings as you can see turned on i sh i really suggest you to turn them off because uh, as you can see trace debuggable applications and record trace so this is basically uh, just uh, we turned off any action of this 
um, system tracing because we don't really need them and they really uh, reduce the speed of working of our phone so next is going to be per cpu buffer size i really suggest you to choose if you have any of these first three numbers so 8016 and 32000 i really suggest you to choose 65000 as you can see because this is really beneficial for overall performance of your phone the more memory then better so these were really important settings that i really suggest you to apply on your phone in order to make your phone much faster and enjoyable for using so i hope that this video was really helpful for you if you enjoyed this please don't forget to like and subscribe with the notifications see you later